What's up, guys? Nimrod's back. Hope you guys have been doing well. We have been happy, healthy, and cranky. Um, so this video is going to be about me changing a wheel bearing hub assembly in the old lady's van here. We just took it for a spin around the country block. No noise, no wobbles, no nothing. We'll, we'll check uh, most of the bolts again tomorrow. But we're good to go, so... Um, I used a different technique of pulling the the hub assembly out. Before I just was air hammering chisel, just banging the living hell out of it. Um, but we used some bolts. You created pretty much a pulley using the hub itself against the spindle. It worked really well. Except I I did I had to nimrod it, man. I had to screw it up somehow, but it didn't screw it up bad. So um, yeah, my advice if you're gonna a, this is not a how-to video, just a vlog, me rambling and venting. Um, but if you're going to do it, look it up a little bit. And if you can, remove that dust shield because that will open up a lot. What do you can see? And I would not have done what I did if I took the dust shield off earlier. So those three 10 millimeter bolts delayed me by like an hour because I'm like, oh, I'm just letting it set. Really not how it works. I knew it and I just didn't let I don't know. It's late, guys. It's been a day the day that ends in a Y. So, all right, guys, fun video, stupid video. I don't care. If you like it, like it. If you don't, now give it that thumbs down. I don't care, guys. I'm just trying to create content again. So, <sighs> yeah, one project down, and I'm sure I got five more tomorrow. I just don't know about them yet. So, all right, guys, peace, 7-3. I'm QRT at the end of the video. Back at it. Fucking car. What's up, guys? Nimrod's back for another video. Um, so we're working on the old ladies, 09 Town and Country, wheel bearings toast, and uh, we're gonna try a little bit different uh, method of trying to get this bearing out instead of just hammering on it and chiseling and air hammer. We got two of these bolts, basically making a pulley, and uh, I'm not sure this is gonna work. To be very honest with you, so. We got the wonderful design of the aluminum spindle and the the steel bearing, cause yeah, cause they suck. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna jack around with this for a while, and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. So, you couldn't tell. <laughs> I cut out a couple of the studs, cause if you're not aware, you don't reuse the damn things, and uh. So I was trying to figure out where I wanted to go. You want a flat surface for sure um, to go against. Oh, that one might not work. Um, so but there it is. And unfortunately, it's on the drive axle, so I'd have to lift the other side up to actually get this to turn. So, Yay. All right, be back. All right, y'all. Uh, it's been about five minutes, maybe ten. I've just been tightening. I'm letting the friction work. <coughs> Taking the beater. Beating on the flint, tapping on the spindle, just trying to get friction to work for me. So, you can, where did that screwdriver go? It, it actually is coming apart. So, maybe this will freaking work. Alright, just checking back in with you. That was completely out of focus. But there it is. Alright guys, ain't got much more since the last time. I just uh, broke out the old PB blaster. And that's been rolling around in the toolbox for a while, but uh, farming ranch can. Um, so I generally haven't put them on these because they're so tight and everything. I you'd almost need a, de or a deoxidizer to actually get it in there. But we got a gap, so we're gonna we're gonna work with it. So other upgrade is went from the standard ratchet. I got the breaker bar out, but I think I'm gonna get a half inch wrench. I got the uh, reducer. I don't want to mess this spindle up. If I flip this up, oh, Mama Bear is not going to be happy. So neither am I because I don't want to deal with that tie rods and ball joints. And uh. So I'm taking it slow. Like I said, try to let re redo what the last, what was that, 13 years? Is that 13? Nine, yeah, about 13 years of salt and road and grime. Just bringing it in, so. Alright. 
Hey guys, Nimrod again. This will be somewhere in the video. So one thing I do, and I've done for a long time, is uh, clean the bolts, the threads on the bolts, um, just from the corrosion and stuff. You can just kind of see the tip of that one. Does it matter? I don't know. So <laughs> I back in the day, I used to just use a, a, a wear brush and just clean it up, knock the junk off, just keep it clean. You know, I got access to... My neighbor, rest in peace, has a heck of a shop over here, and so, and uh, his widow is like grandma to my kids, and they gave me a key to the barn, so, I mean, we got a metal saw, we got a whole, full, he's got everything, there's more, there's stuff in here I don't even dare even try to, like, touch, so, but uh, just a thought, guys, um, I mean, we got the caliper bolts, and these are the caliper bracket bolts, Ooh. Thought it was going to go to the ground, but it didn't. Thank you, sir. And these are the uh, uh, bolts that hold the uh, the hub assembly into the spindle there. So, just a thought. Dun, dun, dun. The Nibra moment of the day. I'll point out earlier, you guys probably caught it. When I had this down here, I was actually going like on the corner flange down there. And there was a little bit of damage. I expected that going into the aluminum. I didn't really have anything good to put there, but minimal compared to effing up the face of the flange. So this is coming out. This isn't. This wasn't. But check this stuff out, guys. Let's see if I can do this. <clears throat> Professional videography right here. I tell you what. Hold that. Obviously, there we go. Look at this stuff. Look at that just coming right apart. No, no fuss. Well, not much fuss. What do you do it the right way? I, was, I thought we had a wedgie here, but we just, we just fixed our wedgie. And it's coming down on the bottom too. Flipping A, guys. I'm excited. So, why is this not focusing? My lens must be dirty. So, all right, guys. That's the check for this moment. <laughs> we're gonna get this thing out jack around with the stupid abs wires and uh yeah put the new one in so um i'm not one to be all safety safety with this i definitely recommend you uh wear some goggles if what one of these bolts happen to snap or something it probably wouldn't shatter but i don't want that in my eye i can deal with a little dust but i don't need a half a bolt flying in my face <laughs> all right guys all right, guys, just a couple thoughts. Um, so you can see that's the damage I caused. Cleaned it up. Not all that well. Shoot, I need to do that better. I forgot to get the Dremel. Anyway, um, originally I had one in here going right against the flange. Ugh. Not the old bearing. You can't see it, but... So that didn't work. So, yeah, look at that. It's a beautiful thing. I don't know why it was making so much noise. Um, <laughs> um, so my thoughts, guys, if you're looking, you got, what's that, about a half inch to get it moved. And honestly, I think once you break it free, and I was talking about letting it do its thing, and it's because I was messing with my head, but uh, I think if you're careful and just do one, and then tr maybe another or something, you can do it. Two, two is better, right? Because you don't want to get this thing cattywampus in there and then tear this up or gouge it. But so this is not. This is just me rambling, guys. This is not a how-to video. I'm just showing you what I did. So it worked great. Um, gotta get clean that up. Put some NICs on it. And uh, yeah, it's raining. Beautiful stuff. So, I right, guess I am going to put it back together and I'll do a. No, this will be my closing. Peace. Seven three. God bless you guys. Be good humans. Yeah, just do good things, guys. Be nice to each other.